Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we are building the recreation center in San Sequoia and this actually finishes up the little San Sequoia world that we've been working on. So if you guys are new here or you haven't seen my recent videos, I have been rebuilding on all the lots that came with the new world from the Growing Together expansion pack, which was San Sequoia. And this is the last one, and this has actually taken me two months, so I am excited to be done with it. Not because it wasn't fun, it was really fun, and I do recommend doing this, but it has taken a minute. And so I am excited to kind of be back into some of the other worlds and get back to building like just normally. But I have enjoyed this, and I hope you guys have enjoyed going on this journey with me. I hope you guys have enjoyed all these builds. There are definitely a few of them that I want to rebuild, but not right now. I'm going to take a break from San Sequoia for a little while. But let me know if you guys have anything that you want to see, by the way. Just let me know in the comments because I kind of don't know what to do after finishing all these little family homes. But back to the rec center, though. This is the last lot of our little world. And this is kind of the one that I always knew was going to be the last one in this series. Because this is on the lot that it was originally on. So it's a 64 by 64 lot absolutely huge I think that's the biggest lot in the game and they just take me a really long time to build on and I end up getting really tired and frustrated and so I knew I was gonna save this one for last but I am really happy with the way it turned out I do hope you guys enjoy it as well but let me go on and put the picture that inspired this build up on the screen where you guys can see it and see what I was going for so I found this on Pinterest, of course. That's where I get most of my inspiration. And I believe that the description for this pin said that it was an architectural model kind of generated by AI, I believe is what was in the description, but it should be on my Pinterest if you guys want to see it or look into it or anything like that. I think it's crazy that artificial intelligence can come up with this. And I don't know about you guys, but AI stresses me out a little bit. I've been reading all these articles and stuff talking about it and everything and I feel like there's so many things that we don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I just watched The Terminator a few too many times when I was younger, but anyway, that's beside the point. That's not even got anything to do with this. But that was the inspiration picture, so you have this massive circular building and then the back of the picture turns out not as good as the inspiration picture in any way. I mean, to be honest, the whole build doesn't look as good as the inspiration picture, but the back part, I definitely had to kind of cut some corners because in the inspiration picture, there's a lot of really circular kind of flowing lines and stuff like that. And I wanted to try to use the roofing tool to kind of make some of those designs, but it ended up just taking too much time. And this little area took so much time. And so I just didn't have extra time to put on that. Because I felt like this part of the build is the feature of the build anyway. And so I just didn't want to have to worry about making the back of the build look just as good. That sounds really bad, but I don't mean it in a bad way. I just had already spent so much time on this main part of the build that I just didn't have a lot of time left. But... I actually bulldozed this main part five times, I believe. I think this was the sixth attempt to build this that I actually finally got it right. Because every single time that I would try to build it, I would realize like, oh, I, I forgot to do something or I needed to go on and add this. Like this top part, one of the times that I tried to do it, I didn't add the top part in and then it was gonna be just awful to try and add it in later. And so I haven't actually mentioned that. I'm The method that I'm doing to make this is that I kind of make this little square and then I create a fourth of the circle. If that, I'm, I'm terrible at explaining stuff. I feel like I say this every time, but you kind of make a fourth of the circle and then you use that particular piece of flooring and you copy it and you paste it all around the circle and then that creates a huge circle in the end. Now, I'm not very good at that because I don't do that a whole lot. And so I actually had to kind of fix a few things as I was doing that because my circle wasn't perfect. I used one shorter window on one side of the circle and so I had to go back and fix that to make everything even. And so I am not a good person to, I'm not a good example for this particular method because I'm kind of all over the place. And that's probably the real reason why I had to bulldoze it five times. But when I got done with the fifth time and I realized that I wanted this center part to be built up on the landscaping if that makes sense I wanted to raise the flooring a little bit and kind of raise it up above the second part of the circle I had to bulldoze it again and start over to be able to do that 
And at that point, I knew that the next time that I built it, like whatever happens is staying, that I'm not bulldozing this again. I'm not building it again. And so I knew when I started this one that I had to finish it and I had to make it work. And so this is what came out of that. But I did have a few like really finicky things that I had to go back and fix. But thankfully, the tool mod makes it all pretty easy. As you guys can see, I'm using it a ton in this build. I will go on and mention though that when I was building this, this actually crashed on me in the middle of building it. I think it was around this part of building it as well and I had not saved and had to go back and do some of that stuff again and I was so frustrated with myself for not saving, but it did crash once while I was building it. Then it did completely fine until I started trying to change the direction of the lot. And you guys know the little tool, I don't know what it's called, but you pick up the whole lot basically and you move it. And so that was a lot to process because I was actually already done with the lot. So everything was placed and there's a ton of objects and stuff. And so I totally understand why it was crashing then. But I do just want to tell you guys that if you have trouble with game crashes or something like that and you want to get this off the gallery, just be aware that it may cause your game to crash. I mean, I don't know that it will. Hopefully it won't. I don't feel like my game was even super laggy with this build. But, you know, depending on your game and what you're used to, just be aware of it if you try to add this to your game. Because I don't want you guys to have a game crash and lose like a save family or anything like that. But anyway, it wasn't too big of a deal for me because I was just building and playtesting. So it really wasn't too big of a deal. But now our main building is done. So the big circular building is done. And I added all this kind of landscaping just to give it a really earthy vibe. I don't know. I was going for the inspiration picture. You guys saw it, but I did make the circular building too big though. And I did not want to do that, but that is how it ended up because like I mentioned before, at this point, I knew that I was not bulldozing the lot again. So by the time that I realized that I had made that too big, there was no going back and everything else was just going to have to be built around it. And that's what I did. So it is a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. And there's definitely way more space on the inside of that than I wanted there to be. But we do have that main building, that circular building where the music room is going to be. And there's also going to be a small cafe and a little bar and karaoke area. And I think I put one of the big, huge TVs in there as well. So it's just a big community space. And then this back building, I tried to kind of make it similar to the inspiration picture. I think I said this but it, you know, it didn't work out really well. So I kind of just tried to give it a modern vibe and fit it in with the build as well as possible, even though you really just don't see it because the big circular building is definitely the feature of this build, like you cannot miss it. And so I feel like you don't even notice this building, but while I was playtesting, this building is actually where most of the Sims would go. They weren't going to the big circular building for the most part, they were coming into this building and there was barely any sims showing up at all and I don't really know why because I felt like the rec center would be a big kind of social place for sims but I feel like maybe saw two or three sims at any given time. Maybe it's just because the lot's so big and I just wasn't noticing where everybody was. Maybe everyone was just so spread out but I swear I feel like I would only ever find two other sims that were not in my household. So that was kind of surprising to me because I felt like it would be more of a social place. But I did include a lot of activities in this back building so it kind of makes sense that they all come to this area to hang out because I do have, let's see, I have an art room which you guys can see right now and I really love how this room turned out. I absolutely love it. I want to think this is one of my favorite things I've ever built to be honest. I just love this room because I did a adult side and then I did a kid side and I kind of tried to decorate, you know, accordingly. And then outside of the adult side of the artistic area is a rooftop bar, which I just really like the vibe of that. It looks really cozy and cool and very city-like, you know, and um, nobody ever went up there other than my playtesting sim. So I guess it's not, not that cool. But anyway, I do have that little art area. We have the rooftop bar with a dance floor. You do have to hire a mixologist, of course, which is a little bit annoying, but your Sims could make themselves a drink or if you were having a party or something, you could always hire someone. There is another bar though in the big building. And so I don't know where the mixologist would go to. I'm kind of assuming that they would go to the circular building because that's what they would get to first. And the other bar is a really long way away from where you would enter the lot, but Anyway, we do have a rooftop bar, which I think is pretty cool looking. 
and then there are plenty of bathrooms. I think the fourth floor is the only one that doesn't have a bathroom somewhere on it. And then the first floor has a family bathroom with one of the diaper changing stations. And you know, honestly, those things are really big. They take up a lot of space and so you can't fit them into every bathroom because they really need a lot of space around them, especially if you want to use the trash can attached to it. And I don't really love that, but anyway, that's beside the point. There is one that does have kind of like a family bathroom if you have an infant or something like that. And then the original rec center had a kitchen as well. And so I included that because there was plenty of space in this build. I kind of had to come up with stuff to put like, I mean, some of this stuff probably wouldn't even exist in a community area, but it's the Sims. And so it doesn't matter. And I was just trying to shove as much as I could into this lot activities and stuff for your Sims to do. And I just had a lot of space to fill up. Like this back building doesn't look that big because the circular building is so massive, but there's actually a lot of space in this back building. Like there was a lot of room to fill up and to come up with stuff. But then most of the balconies either have more plants and landscaping on them, or they have kind of game stuff. They have the game tables or chess tables. I think there's one with chess. And the Sims that were at this lot did seem to go to the game tables. I guess maybe that it's programmed like that because it's the rec center and that's what they're supposed to do. But they did seem to go play on the puzzle tables or the symbol table, whatever it's called. They did seem to go do that. So those little areas, you know, Sims would go out there. But for the most part, I just feel like I couldn't ever find any other Sims that were in this lot. So if you guys have been playing with the new pack, let me know if you guys have went to the rec center do you feel like there's a lot of sims that go to your rec center or is it just mine like let me know but there's plenty of chess at this venue there's i added several computers as well so if your sims needed to work or if you were doing like rags to riches or something like that i feel like this would be a good lot to hang out at there's the only thing is there's no beds like the, your sims would have to sleep on the couches but i feel like that's pretty good like as far as skill training and activities and having computers and bathrooms and stuff i feel like this would be a good lot for a rags to riches sim to just hang out on but anyway we do have a little kids area and i didn't really like the way this area turned out and i can't tell you why i don't know if it's because of the colors or because i didn't feel like it matched the rest of the lot maybe but i just really didn't like the way this area turned out i did play test it though it does look really cluttered it looks like it wouldn't be functional but I did play test this whole lot. Everything was functional and if it wasn't, then I changed it and fixed it. And so everything should work if you guys wanna get this off the gallery. And then for the big circular building, I'm not sure that the weather would affect your Sims or not. When I play tested, it wasn't an extreme weather day, but I do think at one point it was raining and when my Sim went into the big circular building that I don't know what else to call it, they put their umbrella up. So I feel like your Sims would be good on the weather. I don't think the weather would affect your Sims. I don't think you'd have anyone die like of weather exposure, but I'm not totally sure. So just be cautious if you use this lot for some reason, if you're playing with a safe file that you know and love, just be aware that I'm not totally sure about the weather. But anyway, the bottom part of this little building in the back is kind of like a sports building because it's gonna be next to the basketball court on the outside, which I am so excited about the basketball court. I can't even tell you, it's kind of ridiculous. But um, anyway, I do have a sauna from the spa day pack and then a locker room, which really isn't, there's not a lot of point to that other than I guess changing your clothes. But then I do have the workout equipment over here as well because I figured maybe there is a San Sequoia basketball team or there's a local team that hang out here and they come in and they work out or they can, you know, go to the locker room or whatever. There's not really a bathroom close to this area. I probably should have done like a shower room or something like that, but I didn't have the space and so I didn't do that. You could always delete the sauna if you wanted to and you could add in some showers if you wanted to there. But I was so excited about the basketball court because I have used some of the basketball stuff. I think that stuff came from City Living, right? I used some of that stuff in some of the household builds in this world, but I've never actually built a full on court before. And so I was very excited to do that with this particular build. Like from the very beginning, I knew that I wanted to do that. 
And I do like the way it turned out, but it did end up being way smaller than I thought it was going to be because I wanted to kind of try to make something that looked like bleachers. Like I wasn't sure that I was going to be able to make them functional, but I wanted to kind of make it look like there were bleachers around it. And I wanted to just make a cool little area there. And I wasn't able to do all of that just because the space was so small. So I ended up just placing some regular benches around and some sports equipment decorations and stuff like that. But I still really like the way it looks. And I used one of the debug chain link fences as well, I think from base game. And I used that to go around it. And I just really love that area. It makes me so happy. And then also with this build, I've been saying from the very beginning that I was going to go all out with a splash pad for the rec center. And that did not happen because um, I used up all my space for this building. And so I wasn't able to make a really cool splash pad. I did include a splash pad, but it's pretty small. And it's not what I wanted it to be. So maybe later we'll do like a San Sequoia pool or something like that. And we'll do a really cool water park or splash pad feature, something like that. I kind of want to do something like that, but I wasn't able to do it with this one. It was supposed to go into this build, but it did not. So anyway, there is a splash pad. There is a jungle gym, I think is what they call it in the game. One of the little playground equipment things. There is one of those for your kids. And then there's just a ton of outdoor activities like the pool. We're going to have a pool with a diving board and there's some picnic tables and grills. And also I included some planter boxes for a community garden area. And I included some of the bee boxes as well. And I know that this is totally irrelevant and probably nobody cares, but this is the first time playtesting that my Sim did not get stung by the bees while I was playtesting those bee boxes. And so I am excited about that. I know that that's not super relevant to the build, but I was very excited that we did not get stung. And then for the main building that you guys can see that I'm working on right now, I did include a cafe, like I mentioned, and a bar. And then this is just like a little entertainment area that really was there just to take up space and add some decoration. But this area, like I mentioned, turned out way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And so I had to add a bunch of stuff in there because there was just way too much open space for me to leave it like that. So I ended up including all that. And then there's plenty of like dining tables and chairs and stuff to kind of fill up the space. And then I did include some of the game tables and chairs in there also. And then the center area is the music room, which kind of like the basketball court, I wanted it to be a lot bigger. And I kind of wanted to make it look like there was tiered seating. I wasn't sure how I was going to make that functional, but by the time I got to that part, I was so tired of the build that I just had to finish it and I couldn't, you know, do all that. And so I was a little bit disappointed with the little music room because it seems very plain, but I think Sims were going in there. I never did see any of them, but I think they were going in there because the violin kept getting moved around. So I feel like somebody was going in there and practicing the violin, but I never did see them. But I think that little area may have been kind of popular. It's not very decorative, but if you had a musically inclined Sim and you wanted to do like a little concert or something like that, I think it's a cute little area. But that's pretty much all there was in the big main building. And then on the outside of the building, that big like open air circle that goes around the outside, which was mainly just for decoration. I originally was gonna put a bunch of chess tables or something like that around. But once again, I was just really tired at that point. And so I decided just to put some benches around. And I kind of figured like maybe it could be a walking path for Sims who come here. Cause I feel like that's a thing with rec centers, isn't it? that you would have a little area, a little walking track for people who wanted to walk there. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually been in a rec center, but um, yeah, that's kind of what it, in my mind that area was for, was a walking trail, which really doesn't have any purpose in the actual game, but you know, that's kind of what it's supposed to be. But that's pretty much all I can think of that I had included in this build. All that I can say is, like I've mentioned already, that Sims for some reason just weren't hanging around here and they definitely weren't participating in all the activities that I included for them. So hopefully that's maybe just something was weird with my game. But I mean, I definitely expected there to be a lot more Sims hanging around than there was, but maybe that was just me. Anyway, we're pretty much to the end of this build. So I think that I will go on and leave this voiceover here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. 
let me know what you think down below in the comments because I always love hearing from you guys and I do really hope you enjoyed this build because I have been wanting to build it for so long. And also just let me know if you have any ideals about what you'd like to see on the channel, any kind of build ideals or anything like that. Let me know down below in the comments. And thank you once again for hanging out with me today during this speed build. I hope you all are having a wonderful week. And hopefully I will talk to you guys soon with another speed build.